God, what are you doing in here? Uh, why can't I run? No, God. Oh, God. I'm panicking. What the fuck? Here's the Fathom, episode 2, Northwood Hitchhike, June 16th. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was, a, I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first. But getting it out may help, even if just a little bit. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. Nice. I go to every convention I get a, the chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. Yeah, I feel ya. This convention I was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. When I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a lower 12 hour drive. E. Anything over 5 hours is just not it. <laughs> Wazda to drive. Okay. Space to get out. Driving at night is fairly therapeutic for me. Well, at least it used to be. Oops. Trying to pull over so we can read our text messages. Jeez Louise. You gotta do what you gotta do. Damn right. What are we talking about here? What do you mean? Stuck in the biggest traffic? That sucks. It's not good either. It's complete convention. There's some rerouting here. Okay. Wait. Uh, sarcastic calling him dead. Discord, we got text, so... Let's get the car. Okay. Drive safe, Ally. Don't forget to call me. You got it, Dan. Anything else? Leave me now. Drive safe. Yeah, just got to the convention. Car with who and the internet friend? He's a nice guy. No. Not going on a 10 hour drive by yourself. Well, I already made up my mind. I'll drive you. Why don't you understand anything? Let's talk when I get home. I don't know if that's a real song or not. I don't listen to rap too much. Because if it is, I ain't trying to get in trouble. Where did you reach? So six hours away, I got stuck in a jam. That was risky. We're still moving. No one's behind us, though. Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. Oh, let's keep those on. Bad spot to stop. Told you to take that flight. Oh, Holly's just gonna be late. Reach back. Hope you're feeling alright. I don't like sitting in the road. I'm kind of like speed reading through that.
Okay. Creeper on the side of the road. Let's see what we got in here. All right, all right. I'm watching you. It's watching. Where the hell is out in the woods? Maybe they're taking their dog out. You know, I do that. Let me step aside. <laughs> Ollie? Mom? Good talk. Ma'am? Hi, right, can I get ten dollars on pump two? You heading to the bridge for your by yourself? Bridge. Huh? Northwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. Thanks. I'm not joking, ma'am. Be careful. It's not safe out there. For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. And people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Northwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down in the trees. <laughs> Thanks for the gas. Either buy something or get lost. And one more thing. You see a woman in the in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride. Do not stop. Just step on gas as hard as you can. Okay. Whatever you do, never ever under any circumstances pick up a hitchhiker. There's people out there on the road putting their thumbs out. They aren't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. Hmm. Guys, yeah, full of shit. <laughs> I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. You get something for Milo. I'll pay you back. Aww. Chicken and rice. We ain't got any dog food. We gotta fill up. Still shows we have no gas. Do I gotta... I'll pump two. Oh. Duh. Is that on the right side? I don't see an arrow. Oh, is it on this side? Maybe it's under the license plate. It's an old car. You never know. I filled the tank and I was off to the road again. On the road again. Since my mom asked, I had to buy something for Milo from the store. The store? Pat, pat. That's five dollars, ma'am. Some cheap dog food. All right, we already lost our sprint. Our sugar high is gone. Just as fast as Stewie's. Check this truck out. I 
E6428. Alright, let's get moving. Anyone in the back? Alright. Alright, don't stop. Nothing for hitchhikers. Being on the road, you do realize the thing. Monsters truly do exist. What? And every single one of them looks just like you and me. I get it. Not now, Mom. I'm driving. That's not expired or anything, right? What worrying? What? It is a car. Why are my lights flickering? No one too slow, man. Alright, I'm going too fast. If someone runs out in front of us. I'm hitting them. Alright, picking up some speed now. Hmm. Where are we going? Wait, does somebody mess with our car while we are at the gas station? Maybe? Why were the lights flickering and everything? Ugh, dirt road. Or is that just like stone? A nice little drive. Got the water here. Slightly spooky. What happens if we go off-roading? <laughs> what? Ah! My lights keep going out. It goes off again. We're just driving in the dark. No headlights. Oops. That wasn't the best at driving. There's this weird thing about that night. I saw two big... Logs in the middle of the road, blocking the roadway. I wanted to check this out. I'll admit, I was a terrible driver. <laughs> oh, flashlight. Okay, good. I can't go in there. Alright. Somebody's in the back. Let's go see where those logs are. Right there. It almost seemed as if someone had deliberately put those there. Yeah, think. We lost our sprint. I mean. 
do I go over him? Was I supposed to walk over it? No, I don't think I was supposed to get through. Oh, no, here we go. I thought I heard something. Alright, so we went back to the gas station, and then past that where we started, because I was curious if we were missing anything, but we weren't. So here we are. I'm going to see if the gate over here opens, and if not, if we can move the logs. Oh... Scared the shit out of me. I'm gonna get back in the car. Don't really want to get mauled by a bear. No one in the back. Gotta always check. Still static. There's a fence there, so that's good. I'm supposed to go around. Okay. We're just gotta move them. There's Van. Okay, let's do this quick. I just got chills. There's two. Anybody in the back seat? Nope. Go, 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 go. No. Oh, no. And just like that, I was standing in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. I'm not saying I was starting to believe whatever the bull crap they said, but I'd be lying if I say I didn't feel the slightest of unease. I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but throughout my life I was told not to ride from not to take rides from strangers. But at the moment, I had no choice. Let's just keep trying. I was scared to think how long it would be for someone to pass. I mean, probably not long. 10.23 p.m. Do we have a flashlight? No. Do we have one in the trunk? I saw a car nearing. Alright, he's gonna hit us! Can you use this as a weapon? Pure evil. I understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. And 43 p.m. Let me use this as a weapon. Stopping? Oh, I recognize you. It's the truck from the gas station. Bring in the skateboard. Who 
the girl from the gas station. Didn't think anyone would stop here for me. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. Can't call for help. There's no phone service. I can get a ride. Where are you headed to? Just up the road. Just need to stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thank you so much. Would you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. In case the bear's watching. Oh. Oh, tell me I'm missing something else. Hurry up. Okay, I'm done. Finally. Now hop in, be quick. Why do you got a purse? Why do you got two purses? Hmm. So you won't tell me who you are, where you're going. I'd rather not say if that's okay. I live really close from here. You say so. Yeah, you don't need to know. Really look, I had been on the side of the town uh, tonight. I must say you are one brave young woman. What's that supposed to mean? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? Seemed like an old car. That's it? I think so. I have a feeling you know. Can't mess with anything. So what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? He only creeped me out. He's funny. Interesting. Indubitably. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. LMB to talk. What are you talking? So is it true? What, the monsters? Let's see, I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are. There are some things. And I'm afraid your car bank it down could have been one of them. Hey, listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. Yeah, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. Why do you have two purses? Hmm? Twelve oh eight AM. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently that offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. At least he got my stuff. Oh, it was a tow truck. I thought it was a burned up van. Can we explore a little bit? Where are we going? Break into some cars? I couldn't just go into any room. It's worth trying. <laughs> Can we read that? Oh, fix the rug, man. Oh, that is irking me. Just, here, here, come here, lift the couch up. Just fix it. <sighs> Alright. Gail, need a room to shack up for the night? How much is it for a room? $40 for single. Pay cash only. Number nine, right over there. Ninety dollars. Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. I'll pay you when it's done. Or when he gets it. Ah. 
They got me. Good, I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. I mean, that's understandable. It's midnight. stuff up. At least grab the dog food. Gotta make sure Louie eats. Or Milo? Alright, I forgot the dog's name. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alright, so text messages didn't go through. Understandable. I don't know if you'll find the shop at this hour. Yep. Oh, it's not expiring anything. Holly? Okay. It was nice and warm inside. There's no bed! Why is there no bed? Oh my god, what are you doing in here? Uh, why can't I run? No, god! Oh god! I'm panicking. What the fuck? Ooh. What? Am I supposed to talk to him? Where's the skateboard? Like, hit that motherfucker. No. People need to hear my screams. Well, what are you doing here? You're scaring the crap out of me. I should be asking you. Tommy, room service here for Roadway in, in the finest job. Uh, what are you doing in here? You know, cleaning stuff. At the front desk gave me this room. Hee 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 hee. I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. Let's get my stuff. You fucking creep. These are the essentials, in my mind. Dog food and the skateboard. A weapon. And then, you know, the dog. Oh, wait. Can we use this? No. You better bring me a bed. I had a word with Joe about the situation. Who's Joe? What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. Don't you worry, it's safe here. I go get your car. And also the room's phone is not working. If you need anything, just ask at the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. Hee <laughs> hee look at that face. But you have a good night. Yeah, get the fuck out. Actually... Seems a little loud for midnight. Fucking creep. Is there's bears watching again? In case he wants. Could have hit me. Ah, damn. Let's get the last bit to the room. Alright, call me crazy, but I'm gonna try every door. Zigzag, just in case there's a bear. What's that? Oh my god. Well, turn your goddamn TV down. Alright, I'm just being creepy. Looking in the back of the 
windows. <laughs> what is this building? So that was room four. Keep an eye on that guy. So I think we're good. Yeah? Nobody in here? Hiding? Ooh, can I hide? Thank you. Don't move. That's cool. I like that. Perfect. That was like good work. Superman. I didn't need it. I never know. Yet. Check things out a little bit. That's pretty cool. They have the uh, cartoon on here. I like that. What the fuck? Uh, call it a foresight, but there was something very off about that place. No shit. Room four. You son of a bitch. At least we can hide in here. Nah, let's keep that open for now. Or does I want to keep that on? I mess with his car? G at eight three six seven seven. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have left that open. Can we hold on to this while we go to sleep? Didn't want to sleep anymore. Only coffee could help me stay up. Um, front desk? Or vending machine? I don't think I've ever had vending machine coffee before. Or maybe once. We don't have a coffee maker in the room, do we? Uh, here we go. That's what I was thinking of. So. Better be as fast as Superman after drinking this. I 
hear breathing. That's unsettling. Oh, everything's opposite. Oh, this is tripping. Can you poison it? Just hide in here. What's happening? Three eighteen AM. Ugh. I was sedated. sounds awful. Grab the skateboard. I didn't feel safe going out. What do you mean? Oh, you can hear it creeping. I don't want to. Who is it? Joe from front desk. Open the door. Ah, uh, what do we do? We know someone's in the room. Uh, uh. It is Joe. Fuck it, I'll hit you with a skateboard, you son of a bitch. Somebody's, someone's in the closet. I haven't been making any noises. Is that, why are your eyes all red? Are you messing with me? We don't have no coffee machine here. What? It's right over there. Follow me. Get a silver gas, I guess. I hate my job. <laughs> you want follow, bud? Yeah. Why is the trunk open? Whose door just opened? Pick up, pick up! I feel safe with this. Go back to the room. I swear to God, it was right here. Let's so go back now. Did you not hear me? I said go back to the room and don't get out. Check the table by the TV. There should be some medication in a room that should offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. Did nothing. What about the guy in our fucking closet, man?
Requires water. The vending machine? So I'm not going past that fucking closet. Staying doing it. Do I have to go to the bathroom? Just drink out of the sink? Oh no, there's the other sink. Uh, I have to go by the closet? I'm leaving this door open. Wait, did I shut it? It's not in there. So he left. The door was wide open. Yeah, no shit. Hmm. So we did shut the door. Can we turn the lights back on? Didn't feel safe going out. So I just take a picture? Trust him. Ew. Oh, don't go to- I oh, know. What do I do? Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help. Please open the door. Fuck no. I know you're in there. Well, yeah, I'll just talk to you, douche. Mm-mm. That was my weapon. Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away. I'm calling the cops. Pretty late. Scared the shit out of me.
this day, I find it really weird that the manager interfered, or in, in the manager inferred not to get police involved as it would have affected motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on a long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. 